Hi, um, I'm Pete Davidson, and I'm doing uh, sneaker shopping with uh, Joe again. And uh, that's that's what's happening. So my writers are on strike. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Concepts with actor, comedian, and producer Pete Davidson. Hello. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes, I will. Let's, so I don't get made fun of on Reddit. Let's yeah. go. All right, cool. Pete, one thing I noticed over the last few years since we talked is like your brand loyalty, you switch a lot of brands. You know, the King of Staten Island, you're wearing Vans and then we see you in a bunch of different brands. What's it about like keeping other brands in the rotation, not just one brand? The honest answer is someone else starts wearing it. And then, you know, usually someone cool wears it and then Bieber sees it and then he starts doing it. And then all the models start doing it. Okay. And then it's not cool anymore. So that's what's happening with the Solomons right now. So, so, so wait, you so stay now away? I gotta go Hoka. Okay, okay. You know, it's all again, yeah, once, yeah. It's really cool. You gotta find a shoe that nobody has so it feels cool, like it feels like it's yours. And then, you know, someone finds it and fucking ruins it for you. <laughs> Is that like an endless yeah. like hunt though? Because it yeah. happens quickly. Like, you know, you see on the streets like Soho, a lot of people in the same shoes and, and it's yeah. like they have different moments. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. You yeah. gotta like really dig and find really cool stuff. And, uh, but yeah, that's whatever's hot right now. I try to find whatever's really, really ugly because the chances are <laughs> that's gonna be really cool all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like the next thing I'm calling, I think the Uncle Jesse look from Full House is coming back. Re yeah. Really? Yeah, look how excited I got. I knocked over. <laughs> Some Daddy Jordans. <laughs> These are Daddy Jordans. Bupkiss kind of opens a scene in like the basement that we've all heard about in Staten Island. Yeah. But like in the background, I noticed there's like a crazy sneaker closet. How true to life is that? Well, that one is, uh, <clears throat> I let them kind of do whatever they wanted because you're not going to really see it. But they were really smart because I obviously, in between takes, I, I got my boy Alex. I was like, grab a bag. Okay. Uh, we'll, you know, because they're going to have to <laughs> fucking re re put restock yeah right? and then we got home and they were all a size smaller than my real damn shoe. so they're fucking so, so i was so pissed I was did like, you give they, them away or you gonna what no you gonna no do? i put them i was like good job guys like damn like, yeah you guys yeah so you thought you were like you were getting shoes from set that you could wear yeah but they made it a size smaller so i didn't steal them so now my size is a size bigger on my rider and then oh, I, so I can smart. take them home yeah and now yeah. Did the closet, I saw the closet spiff organizing came in and like did all the closet yeah, yeah, yeah. major, major news. It yeah, was like the, they the, crushed the, it. the sweatpants are lined up and the sneakers. So like you have like a crazy sneaker collection now? I, I It's smaller now, but I still, I have like a couple of classics that I love the most. And I still have, like I have a pair of G units somewhere. You wore those the first time. Yeah, I, did. Yeah. I love those. Uh, I got like a lot of Iversons, mm -hmm. like the older Iversons. So yeah, I have like some that I keep forever and then some that I try to just cycle through. Five years ago when we had you on the show, we talked about like the dad shoe or the chunky running shoe. And it was like this thing where it was like, oh, it's a new trend. Now it just is like all over and they're really cool sneakers. I want to talk about like you wearing Solomon and New Balance and like the, the Jown Asics I saw you. And what do you like about like those shoes specifically? Uh, they're super nostalgic. Yeah. Uh, they remind me of like what my uncle wore like when he took me to like t-ball practice. Okay. And, shit. and uh, so when I look at them, I feel like a sense of like safety and they're really chill. Yeah. In college and stuff, it's cool to have like super flash, like, you know, you're doing the whole, like yep. I used to like not want to crease my shoes and I had a sneaker toothbrush or whatever. Right. These you could just beat the shit yeah. out of. And somehow they look cooler. Definitely. So that's why I like these. Are shoes now showing up to your address, like getting free shoes and things like that? What's you would think, but not really. Really? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. But it's never really the ones you want. Okay. Yeah, and then you put them on, you know, the real real. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a celebrity secret. Okay, do, yeah. you, do you don't mark them yours though, it drive the value no, up. No, yeah, no, I don't mark them okay. mine because, you know, the, you know, page six. But, oh, right, that uh, but exists. Yeah, yeah, you just take like 20% less and you could, uh, you could sell them all. Okay. On the real, that's where all your stuff goes, by the way, guys, when you send it to me, it goes right to the real real. <laughs> You said like the Solomons that you've been wearing, they kind of remind you of like a classic basketball shoe that you like? Yes, oh, the LeBron 9s. I think they're the 9s, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, the, my favorite 
a shoe that LeBron did in one of my favorite shoes in period, and it was for basketball, and I was at a time where I was hooping a lot, is the LeBron nines, because yeah. they had so many different colorways. They went with every outfit, and it was at a time where I tried to match literally everything. Head to toe, Head right? to toe, hat, everything, yeah. So uh, LeBron nines, they remind me of that a lot. Talking about Staten Island, I don't know if you've ever seen these. 36 pairs, I know your love of Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang dunks, but look at how valuable they are. $131,000 for a seven and a half? Like on StockX right now. And I know someone who has them who's like, they're worth like 75 grand, but like you're kind of like into memorabilia. We talked about like, you'll look- That's cool. Would you ever go crazy and like just, you, you know- you rock, them, you rock them once in a photo shoot or something. So whatever you pay for that, you get back. Okay. And then you just put them on the shelf. All right. Or you you sell you get you get one good use out of them. I would have way too much anxiety. That's like a fucking <laughs> it's, condo. Dude. Yeah. Would yeah. you ever put from like a memorabilia standpoint? Would you ever go crazy on a pair of sneakers like that? I had Marty McFly's for a bit. I remember we talked about. Yeah, it. Yeah, I had them for a bit, and I just wore them once, and then they were just sitting in my closet, and I just felt like so insecure about yeah. it, so I got rid of them. But I should have kept on of them because now they're just like six times what I sold them for. Crazy. So I think like they, they go up in value. Yeah. They're like, you know, like pianos. When's the last time like you've gone to a mall for sneakers? Sometimes I go when I'm in different places okay. or um, I go to the Staten Island Mall sometimes and I just put a mask on, nobody really sees Really? It. But yeah, that's the, that's the best. Like you go into Foot Locker? I was yeah. wondering that, like the Staten Island, it wouldn't have been Paramus, yeah. it would have been Staten Island Mall, but yeah. like you'll... Yeah, there's nothing better than going into, it sucks when you have to shop online. It's fun, it's a different thing when you try them on and they're, they're on the wall. It's like, yeah. there's nothing better than that. Last section, I want to talk like comfort footwear. Uh, your stylist, one of your stylists, Britt Theodora, said like yes. you're into custom Uggs. Yes. When did this happen and you've been wearing them? I saw it at the Butt Kiss premiere, but you've been yeah. wearing like Uggs, but custom Uggs. When did you get into that mode? They're so, first of all, they're just so comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Sandler fan. I think Sandler is, is like 10 years ahead of everyone on okay. fashion, always. And he wore Uggs a lot in the early 2000s. And any like picture you see of him on set or whatever, they are just the most comfortable thing ever. And also like, you know, there is some sort of like, oh, you don't give a fuck really. Like, yeah. you know, it's like very like powerful. I think the Uggs, like wearing the Uggs, like you go like grocery shopping, yes. you go to the movies, you go out of your house in Uggs, <laughs> like you, that's cool, man. Like yeah. you're, I fuck with you, like you're cool. And then the custom ones, are you like helping on like, oh, I like these, I don't like these or what? It's the it? same thing as like, I'm like, can I just have one that like, no one else not, has. That's all. But I think they're cool and they're gonna make a super big, I think they're already back, but they're gonna be like, I think that, and uh, I just started ordering uh, juicy sweatsuits. I saw a custom one. Yeah. How yeah. are we getting custom? Like I saw custom hidden, hidden yeah. awesome, doing like great things. I know that like, I think you wore for one of your Netflix specials, but like yeah. custom juicy couture sweatsuit. Yeah. Remember that guys? Yeah. No, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. I just think like uh, that whole Sopranos era, sort of, you know, except for the shoe wear. Uh, those sandals in, in the early 2000s <laughs> will never be okay ever again, but the juicy sweatsuit, I think, should make a major comeback. One moment, um, it says you were on the set of Butt Kiss, but I need to know the stories behind the propet. Oh, this outfit. But the shoes, the Velcro. Oh, the Velcro ones, yeah. Those. So is this just like costume designer or like you wear like- No, you... I have a pair of those. So yeah. like I looked for them, we had, it took it, us- And when you go to rehab, Okay. Uh, yeah, so okay. I didn't take Wait, that. but it wasn't that epic. Was it that? No, no, no. Okay, because no, the reason I know about those okay. shoes is because when you go to rehab, they don't give you shoes with laces. Okay. So I had to get like a fly shoe for rehab. Okay. So those were those. So I have a couple pair of those because they're like the most comfortable orthopedic type like shoes ever. But that's that's how. All right, because yeah. I, to be fair, I looked at the episode. I, I wasn't sure, but it did say on the set, so I was a little confused. No, but, yeah, okay. no, they're so comfortable. I can't recommend those shoes. And I saw we had to look them up and it was like on Amazon and just yeah, like- Yeah, they're like $14. <laughs> we have to talk, the movie Transformers Rise of the Beast has yes. a very 90s feel to it. And even there's like some items that are coming out or cool. a special jet limited edition, Awake New York, a great brand, the New same. York City roots. Like this jacket that they did, a varsity jacket, but talk about the this movie. Yeah, look. Look at this bad boy. Very cool. Might leave home with it. It'll be on the real real next week. <laughs> this thing's fire. Fits Woo. great. Yep. But like the Free movie. Free gas for a month, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You're saying. If you got anything, me and my boys flip all day. All right, we, I need to, yeah. <laughs> Just, you take a percentage? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. No, this is sick. The Transformers, the, this movie's laced with like 90s hip hop. Yeah. There's an original Nas song in it. And I got the easiest job ever, whereas I just got to do voiceover. Yeah. But somehow still be in the movie with That's everyone awesome. else. It's the best job ever. Uh, so I'm super stoked. Awesome. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shell, see where you're going to take home. All right. Let's do it. Thank you. How are you feeling, Pete? What are we looking at? Well, with my Riddick glasses, I would like to choose. we like, we get these guys. We'll do the house studio. We'll do these okay. guys. Uh, and these guys. These two ACS? Yes. Okay. Ooh, I would take these two if they had. Am I getting these right? Yeah, we we'll definitely get you on those. Oh, 13. Okay. Got you. I'll do, yeah, I'll do those. The set? Those. Right, the black and white set? Yeah, that'll be For great. For sure. All right, no doubt. We'll get you set. All right. Thank you, man. No doubt. Appreciate it. For sure. Transformers. <laughs> Find everything you need today, man? Everything yes, all good? sir. Thank you very much. Of course, man. Just ring you up right now. Scary, but. All right, so your total is going to be 1783 with 37 cents. All right. Chipping it. Fuck you guys. I'm Reddit. <laughs> Thank you, Sneaker Shopping and Joe and gang for having me go see Transformers. So they put me in the next one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, guys. Take care. See you in another five years. <laughs> So, Pete came through. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Great to see you again. Man. Good to see you too. I'll hopefully be back faster in five years. Yeah, definitely. Make sure everyone checks out Transformers Rise of the Beasts in theater, June 9th, and Buck is streaming on Peacock right now. Thanks again. It's on Peacock. That's what, no, that's what we pitched. We asked them if we were like, can we straight, could we for a week change it to Peacock? Did it work? No, the HR guy's a pussy. <laughs> All right, enjoy it. <laughs>